Hello and welcome to Firewalls.com. My name is Brian Reed. I'm a Master Certified Sonic Wall Security Admin here at Firewalls.com. And in this video, we're going to do a review of the SonicWall TZ105 UTM Security Appliance. For the physical attributes of the SonicWall TZ105 appliance, on the front, we've got a power LED, a test LED, and then a bank of LEDs that will show us our Ethernet connectivity as well as the activity that's happening on those interfaces. Then on the right-hand side, the TZ-105 does support a USB 3G or 4G modem that can be used as a separate WAN connection. On the back of the appliance, we've got several ports. Starting from the left, we have the console port, which is a serial interface that will allow you access to the command line. Then the first Ethernet port is a dedicated LAN port. The second is a WAN interface for your ISP. And then finally, the next three Ethernet interfaces can be configured however which way you like. So for example, you could use those for additional WAN connections, or you can use them to extend the LAN port and create a built-in four-port LAN switch. Then finally, we have the reset switch and a place where you plug in the power supply. The admin interface of the SonicWall TZ-105 is based off of your internet browser so you can easily log into the admin console and access all the features. The sections include a system section, a network section where you can set up your network interfaces and failover, NAT policies. On the 105 it has an optional 3G or USB modem failover option. Wireless section, if you have the TZ-105 wireless unit you can set up all the features inside here. You can also add on what's called a SonicWall Sonic Point, which is a wireless access device that you can extend your wireless network. Firewall section, where you create your application rules, your firewall rules. A dedicated voice over IP section, if you're using voice over IP within your organization. A VPN, an SSL VPN, so that you can create remote access settings for your users. A dedicated user section where you can add users built into the SonicWall firewall or you can integrate with external authenticators such as Active Directory. Dedicated section for your security services, be it the gateway antivirus, the intrusion prevention, and spyware. And then finally, a very detailed logging tool that allow you to dig into all the details of what's happening with the firewall and help you troubleshoot any problems you may have. The built-in SSL VPN portal of the SonicWall TZ allows your remote users using any kind of desktop or mobile device to connect into the network portal and access hosts. So for example, we can do VNC connections to hosts, we can do RDP, uh, Windows Terminal Server connection to user desktops, file servers, as well as it supports SSH if you're running a Linux-based type server as well as Telnet connections for network switches and other serial devices. One of the major advantages that the entire line of the SonicWall appliances offer is the ability to have two or more WAN ISP connections available to the business. This is a great way to make sure that your network is up and running and connected to the internet even if one of your ISP connections go down. Some of the advanced features for this include a basic failover, so if our primary ISP connection goes offline, the firewall will automatically begin using your secondary ISP connection. We have a round robin feature, which allows you to evenly distribute the traffic between all of your ISP connections. This is a great way to take advantage of all of the ISP connections and aggregate all that bandwidth together so that you have a faster internet connection. There's a spillover option where we take the primary WAN ISP connection and once the traffic uh, exceeds what it can handle it'll automatically kick into the next ISP connection. And finally we have a ratio. So here you can determine how much traffic is going to be distributed between one or all of your ISP connections. 
Some of the security features that you're going to find in any of the SonicWall firewalls includes content filtering so that you can prevent users or groups of users from going to inappropriate websites. Client AV enforcement allows you to install and manage desktop antivirus software for your end users. Gateway antivirus that allows the firewall to stop any kind of viruses from entering or leaving the company network. Intrusion prevention is a great tool that will protect any kind of servers that you have available that are exposed to the internet from internet security attacks. That would include your email servers, web servers, and FTP servers. And then finally, anti-spyware protection. The Sonic Wall will examine any files that are downloaded for malware or spyware that may be embedded into that actual application and it'll block that from entering your network. Now let's take a quick look at the technical specifications for the TZ-105. I want to point out a couple items that are of very much interest when you're comparing the Sonic Wall firewall with other models or even other manufacturers. The first is the Stateful Packet Inspection Firewall Throughput. For the TZ-105, it's rated at 200 megabits. This is the maximum speed that you can push through that SonicWall firewall without any kind of special security services or anything else running on it. That's just the raw hardware throughput speed. The second thing you want to focus on is the full DPI UTM throughput speed. This is where the SonicWall TZ-105 has every possible security feature set up and enabled and in inspecting the traffic and the maximum speed you're going to get through there is 25 megabits per second. Also one item that's not shown on here is the number of supported users. All of the SonicWell firewalls support unlimited users on the network. In the case of the TZ-105, since it has limited throughput speed and limited RAM and CPU, it's strongly recommended to only use it for networks up to around 15 users at most. Again, it depends on how much internet traffic you're pushing through and what your users are using the internet for. If you're interested in learning more about the SonicWell TZ-105, we recommend that you go to the firewalls.com website and up in the search box, simply type in SonicWell TZ-105, click search, and it'll take you to additional information, more technical data sheets, as well as additional videos. Okay, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. Have a great day.